Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends and foes, I am the governor, and this is my story. songwriter, singer. Um, gosh, I've worked with a lot of different artists from Destiny's Child to uh, Keisha Cole, Christina Aguilera, uh, J-Lo. I've been very blessed you know, to work with a lot of big artists of, of the late 90s, early 2000s. But I was born into music. My mom is Dion Warwick and um, so she used to carry, she actually carried me around in her stomach as she was singing songs like Deja Vu and Alfie and What the World Needs Now is Love. So I think before I was born, actually, I dedicated myself to music. How did I do it? Well, I mean, I, I always knew I would be, um, from the time I was really little, I knew I would be a producer and a songwriter. So I just used to always say to my mom, uh, Mommy, can I can I show you some songs? Can I can I do a mix on some of the music? And she'd always say, sure. And she always took me to the studio. So I was very blessed. I I grew up uh, mentored by Quincy Jones and Burt Backrack and Hal David and all of, some of the greats in my music. So I kind of got a head start as a little as a little boy. Locked up, all my niggas clocked up, so you don't need a UPS slip to get boxed up. I'm a street nigga, baby, that's the bottom line. So I've been a kind dick before I signed a dotted line. He wiped the tears from his eyes with his own two hands, cause he didn't have a shoulder to cry. Then four years went by before he could drive to see his pop across that county line. DJ's on holiday, summer so far away. tradition of jazz music in Sweden? How early it actually came to Sweden? And you know what, I, I, I hadn't heard anything about jazz and the tradition in Sweden until until I kind of linked up with the guys and they were sharing a lot with me. I didn't even know really, I mean music exists around the world and I know I have a lot of Swedish friends and I know the culture is very, very musical there. And, um, 
you know, Swedish is, sweet Sweden, sorry, is notorious for a lot of the trend setting, you know, today's music, which is like the EDM and that whole, you know, Sweden, Norway, you know, that whole, that whole section of the world is famous for, you know, uh, inventing a new sound, a new style, having some of the greatest producers in the world. But, uh, so I'm not surprised that jazz is, is, is really well received over there. Damon Elliott, uh, we met him in the band when we toured uh, to the United States for the first time uh, in 2014. We went through the Colorados and stayed one night in uh, Las Vegas where we had kind of a, a showcase session where people listen to our music and uh, we were meeting industry professionals there among them Damon and uh, ever since then we have been working together I felt honored to be in a room with them listening to how incredible they are as musicians and how amazing their feel is and the sound that comes through those speakers and when they asked me to, to actually rap and sing on, on the first, that were not the first album, the album prior to Green Man. I was like, are you guys kidding me? Of course, I'm gonna go right now and do it, and I did. And then we just developed a friendship, and then they asked me to do another one. I said, really? Okay, cool, let's go. You know. uh, Damon lent his voice for King Minus, um, and after that, you know, I just felt I, I wanted to work with him again, and he supplies the rap lyrics for Over the Ocean. So the song Over the Ocean became a duet between Damon Elliott and Jasmine Carroll. You know, I was so happy to hear Jasmine was on the album, and Damon I wasn't aware of. I hadn't actually heard of Damon, um, but I have heard the track, and it's sublime. Uh, it's one of the best. For me, it's one of the best on the album. Absolutely, uh, it's like a, uh, it's like a classic soundtrack opening wave. It's, uh, it's one of the best. It's one of the best. It's a very, very, very good track. Hey, mister. Anybody home? Hmm. Got the words lined up. Let's rehearse how things went down from bad to worse. The difference, they can't let it be. They can't agree to disagree. Our brothers are making their neighbor the enemy. The win and the lose, they get back mentality. In this battle, families shatter, things that matter. Did you catch the word of the Lord's master plan? We set the I'm really proud of that song. Um, it's kind of wild. It's a song about the ocean and it's, it's energetic, it, it, it's captivating. Um, God, it just, it puts you in a zone. It's kind of like Isaac Hayes, you know, meets like George Clinton, meets like, I don't know, Shaw Day. It's just, it puts you in a zone. It's like, I feel like, I feel like I could turn the music on and be watching TV and turn the volume off and it's a score to a great movie or a great show. It's, they're just amazing. guys, you know, and I'm, I, it, my thing was to prepare, I guess, 
was just to really listen and pay attention and try to capture the essence of what they laid down, you know, not and not change it. Because obviously I, they wanted what they wanted. And as a producer, I can respect that. I think the most challenging part of my work rapping on the song was to stay true to their feel and their, you know, and their rhythm and their ability because, you know, as an artist you tend to take things and try to make it your own, which is what I did, but I wanted to make it my own but not lose the integrity of what they what they prepare. You know what's, what's interesting is I love how they how they they don't push so much religion, but they they they, they talk about faith based and they talk about humanity and they talk about being a believer and and you know like scriptures you know and to me that's very important and so I'm just really proud to be able to deliver a message of hope and a message of love. Well, over the ocean is uh, actually written about the. Um refugee crisis in Europe, which began sometime in 2015. Um, I was moved by the stories where, you know, refugees had, you know, escaped their homes over the Mediterranean and reached the, the, the shores of Greece and elsewhere, where, you know, a lot of family members had died in the process of, you know, storms and stuff uh, out in the sea and uh, I was particularly moved by you know children who came there without their parents or vice versa uh, so there was a lot of there that I felt I, I wanted to write uh, about so that is actually the song it's it's an up-tempo disco number but it's got a you know the, the contents are pretty you know not too low-key they're pretty uh, substantial it deals with the European-Syrian crisis. And I think that Damien is a perfect match because his ability and strength in the way that he delivers rap, the way that he delivers the lyric, I think brings an important message. I think that him and Jasmine Cara on this track are a perfect match. I think also from a music standpoint that this is a great turning point for beat function. The inclusivity of rap and groove together is really going to me propel beat, beat function to a broader audience with this release. I'm so excited for the project. There's no other thoughts that really come to my mind other than we have a singing cricket in the background now trying to make the record. <laughs> I think he's in like C, Q or C or something. So you guys can write a song right around that. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm super excited to, to hear and see the final out, outcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what does Green Man mean to you? You know, it's funny, when they sent me the, the album title Green Man, I was like, what does it mean? Like, Green Man, like, to me, I think of a, I, I mean, I, green always means money to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I was like, well, is he rich? <laughs> is he a rich man? And so I started to ask Dan, I gotta ask the guys, I don't know exactly what it means, but, I like to be surprised, so I can't wait to see the artwork, and I can't wait to um, to 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 see what Green Man means. And neither can this cricket. He's very excited. That cricket's very excited about the album. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to sing on the next one. <laughs>